Nest Protect. Yes, I have in my hand the Google Nest Protect. Welcome to Richman Poor Tech. And for new viewers of this uh, channel, this is a technology focused channel. And today's focus is on the Google's Nest Protect. Now this is probably the most important video I have ever done. This is probably the most important video I'll ever do. Whether you buy one of these Nest Protects or a cheap and non-smart version, then this protection for your home and loved one is a must. Now there's two versions of the Nest Protect, but before I get into that, I want to tell you a bit more about the importance of these devices. This is my own personal and true story. Every year you hear on the news about how our family have died or that the children have died in a local house fire. One year, many years ago, this family in the news was my family, or to be more precise, this happened to my grandmother. She was the one you hear about in those news stories, one of those stories you think will never happen to you. My grandmother had run out of those store cupboard ingredients and just nipped to the local corner shop while her children and her husband were all sleeping in the house. As she returned to the house, it was engulfed in flames. Her husband and all her children were killed in that fire. It left her devastated and she never got over it. I don't know how I could ever get over anything like that happening to my family. You never think about it happening to you, so whether you buy one of these Nest Protects or a non-smart version, then please, please, please buy one or make sure if you have ones that yours are working. Now on to the Nest Protect itself. There are two different versions and I'll show you how to install one later. But first, what are they? Well, there are actually two devices in one and smart ones at that. First off, you have a smoke detector. Second, you have a carbon monoxide alarm. The smoke detector alarm is smart, not only in the way it connects to the internet and also your smartphone, but it's also smart in the way it monitors in the air itself, resulting in less false alarms and telling the difference between smoke and steam, for instance. If you've burnt something in your kitchen, your toast or your charred grilled burger perhaps, then it can alert you to this before it turns into a fire. Using a spoken voice, not a high-pitched siren like lesser smoke alarms, but a voice alerting you to the possibility that may turn into the fire. So if it's not a threat and just your cord and blue cooking skills, then you can silence the, um, the alarm with, the, with your phone. So no more wafting magazines around, opening all the windows in the winter and wafting the air, trying to silence it before it goes off again, only 30 seconds later. Especially useful if you have just put your child to bed or if you're on shifts and your partner has gone to bed or you're cooking your dinner. This is the smoke alarm that other smoke alarms wish they could be. It will also tell you where the alarm has been triggered. If you have more than one units, they talk to each other over Wi-Fi. Also, if you have more than one, you can give them names like upstairs, lounge, kitchen, bedroom, etc. And you know where the possibility of the danger is. Also, how do you know if your current smoke alarm is even working? Are the batteries flat, etc. Or with this uh, Nest Protect, the app can give you more information. And there's also visual signs on the device itself. Also, unlike non-smart devices, it can alert you if you're out of the house. Maybe in your own garden or maybe at your neighbour's barbecue in their garden. And the Nest Protect also triggers your phone, alerting you to the dangers fast, possibly before it turns into a fire, saving both properties and um, lives. Second, it's an invisible threat, is carbon monoxide. And as we have a boiler in our house on the second floor, this is a very important one to us. How do you know if you're getting slowly poisoned from carbon monoxide? If you have a source of heating like a gas boiler or fires in your property, then there's a chance of carbon monoxide poisoning. There's no smell, no taste, no visual signs to warn you of this danger. And the Nest Protect alerts you to the danger and tells you to leave the area. Telling you again, if you have more than one, where the carbon monoxide threat is. As well as again, doing all those smart features like I mentioned for the uh, smoke alarm. So shameless plug to you to subscribe to me for free. It um, really does help me make more of these videos. And please also click on that like button once if you liked it or hit the dislike button twice if you don't so that YouTube know that this is a good video. And um, please also share if you know someone who may find this video useful. So as smart smoke alarms and carbon monoxide alarms go, then I think the design of the Nest Protect is good. It's something like a smart speaker that you'd have on display in your living room. It has a colour changing LED light ring that tells you the status of the device. So that's green, all is okay. Yellow, it has an early warning, something like your cooking smoke, etc. 
and red there is a serious threat warning, for example, of fire, carbon monoxide levels, etc. It also senses if you're up at night with the lights off and the light will glow on the device, giving a soft glow of white to help you see your way. There are two versions of the Nest Protect, so both look the same and operate the same once they're installed, but there is a battery only version and the other is a live wire with a battery backup version. If you have more than one Nest Protect, whether they're hardwired or battery only versions or a mixture of the two, then as mentioned, they all communicate with each other over Wi Fi as well. This is the Nest Protect second generation. This is the latest version at the time of filming. So please check out my links in the description below to both versions as they are usually the same price. Also check out the prices because sometimes a pack of three can work out more than buying three single units. But please make sure you buy the version you want because they both look the same. Um, so the battery only version is model number is S3000 BWGB, so that's BW after the model number. And the live wire version model number is S3000 LWGB, so that's LW after the model number. Followed by GB here in Great Britain, I presume that you have a different country identifiers in your country or region. The battery only versions have six batteries and the live wire version connects to the mains and has three backup batteries. So while I was decorating, I thought my old smoke alarms looked old and discoloured. I thought it was perfect time to update my smoke alarm to the new smart tech. So if you're fitting a battery only version where the old battery one was or in a new, uh, or in a new location, then this is easy. So you just remove the battery compartment, connect your Nest Protect first to your Wi-Fi and your phone and tablet. I'll show you later in this video just doing that and then just fit it into place or in your new location. The information in the Nest Protect box stating the locations where to put this on the ceiling or wall, so that's quite handy. My version I have here is the 230 volt mains wired version or live wire. This is also easy to install if you place into wild ones that you already have, but there's a bit more to be aware of. So I turned off my electric at the consumer fuse box and disconnected the old unit. Please make sure that this is only done by a competent person or an electrician like me. My old versions had an extra joining wire that connects both the old units together so that they operate in tandem. This is normal in most modern house installations and you won't need to use that connecting wire as these uh, talk to each other over Wi-Fi. Make sure you terminate this extra wire. The instruction states that the colours of the wires, but this isn't necessarily the case and don't rely on this. If you're taking off the old unit, then make a note of the wires against your old unit. Live, neutral and connecting wires, etc. So on to installing the unit. The instructions are pretty clear. First, pull out the battery tab in the battery compartment. Hello from Nest, ready. Press to test. And connect your units to your Wi-Fi and the app on your phone or tablet. But this is before physically connecting to the wall or your ceiling. And make sure that they're all set up. So onto the Nest app, I'm using an iPhone. So download and launch your Nest app from your app store, click on add product. And use your camera to scan the QR code on the back of your Nest Protect. Click on next. And give your Nest Protect a name or go to custom to create one yourself. Then remove the tab for the battery compartment I showed earlier and click next. Your phone connects to the Nest to protect and it looks for your Wi-Fi network. Click on your network and enter your Wi-Fi password and click next. It then sets up your Nest Protect with your Wi-Fi. and it adds the device to your Nest account. Once done, you can add another Nest Protect or click Next. You can turn on Path Light, click Next, and you can set up a sound check and select what time. Click Next. 
and then tells you to install the device and run a safety check. And then you click done. So on to connecting the wired version. So in the box you get three of these connectors. Now these are the same as Wago 221 star connectors. So they're very handy and easy to use. So in the box you get these, uh, sorry that's not, you get um, these Wago 221 connectors or style connectors. So there's an official Wago 221. Um, I'm not sure on this brand. So the easiest way is to use these. So obviously double check that your electric's off. So again, double check. Always double check you got your electric off. So I just strip that off so you can just double check you've got the right amount. Now the yellow wire here, so the yellow wire here is a, another switch wire to the other uh, smoke alarm that I've already got. So if you've got your um, your two wires as a continuation of a circuit. If you look on the side of these here, it shows you how far to trim back. So I don't know if you can see, it's 13 mil on that one. And on the way you go ones itself, it shows you 11 mil. So they're easy to use. So first of all, if you've got a continuation of the circuit, or if you're at the end of the circuit, Procedure is pretty much the same. So get your cutters. And then trim back and just check that you've got 30 mils. So you can see that's just about right. Now I know I'm using two and a half mil cable on this. That's just because what I had handy. Make sure that the unit is on a radial circuit then keep the radial circuit intact. So that's live in, live out and live to the next connector all into one of these uh, connectors. Neutral in, neutral out and neutral nest connector into another connector. Earth in, earth out into a third connector. There's no earth connected to the nest protect unit itself. Earth is a UK wide installation procedure that most countries don't use, but it's important to keep the circuit and the continuity intact here in the UK. Also terminate your link wire if you have one uh, that you won't be using in a connector block. There isn't a supply connector for that. So if this is the continuation of a circuit rather than at the end, you take your live in, live out. So one goes in one hole, one goes in the other. Push those all the way in. And then you take your nest connector and that's the live side done. So you take another connector, open all these up again. You take your, so you take your neutral in, your neutral out. and then your neutral for your nest protect. And that's your live and neutral both connected. So it's just the live. And that's one terminated. Get the other cable. And that's the, the live and the neutral connected for your smoke alarm. Not forgetting any sleeving. So 
So I'm going to take your third connector, open it all up. Just give it a tug, just check it's okay. And there's your earth, live and neutral all connected. Now, because it's the end of the circuit, I'm just terminating these so that they don't um, touch anything. So there's one. So if it's the end of a circuit, you get one of your connector blocks. Just put that on there. You get another one of your connector blocks. Put one in there. And that's the neutral connected. You get another connector block. And that is your live connected. Now if you've got a switch wire, you can use a connector block like this to screw it in, or you could buy some of these Wago um, connectors, so those aren't included, but they're just the same as, as these other ones. So you just open them up, as you get the wire in, close, and that's locked in place. So it really is that simple. All right, now all this can be pushed up here out of the way. If you've got a box, um, like a back box, obviously that's better. And fit the backing plate frame to your wall or ceiling. Now it comes with the supplied screws. So there's the backing plate fitted. Just gonna install it into the wall. So you just get the plug there. Hold it that way around so you can see. So you've got the plug with the little bit on top so that just clips in. Push onto the backing plate frame and twist clockwise. Uh, just put it onto the um, backing plate. And then just twist it until you have it into the desired angle you want. Ready. This is only a test. The alarm will sound. The alarm is loud. The test starts in 10 seconds. Press to cancel. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is only a test. Testing smoke. <coughs> Testing carbon monoxide. <coughs> Finishing up. The test is finished. Everything looks fine. Once all your Nest Protect wire versions are installed, then you turn your electricity back on. And that's it, you're all done. And the Nest Protect is monitoring. And maybe you'll even have a better night's sleep with one thing less to worry about. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. Cheers.